This is Hatsagopteryx, a giant pterosaur that was 18 feet tall and weighed around 250 pounds. Despite its massive size, Hatsagopteryx was capable of flight and was known to prey on several dwarf dinosaurs as well as other pterosaurs. Alright guys, first off, Merry Christmas! Alderaan has given us a little gift with Hatsagopteryx here and we're gonna go and check him out. So here is our subspecies. We have Bambima, which is 10% flight stamina. Philadelphia, which is 5% armor. Gigantia, was 3% attack damage. And then back to Thambima. And then here is our female skin. It's a little bit blacker, just a little bit darker. But let's go through the calls right quick. Here is our broadcast. Wow, I was a lot gentler. I don't know. I think I was expecting something screechier. <laughs> All right, two call. Cute. Threaten. Very nice. Four call. <laughs> I wish I had a little head shake wiggle. I think that would have been funny. Talk. And then our invite is going to be the same as the two call. All right, here is our baby model. He's super cute. His head is freaking huge, but I love the baby skin. It's this really nice light brown. And then the beak is pretty much gray and the eyes are like blood red. But even still, he's very cute. Let's go through the calls. First, we got have broadcasts. <laughs> That's so cute. It kind of like a... I don't even know what to say. Two call. Very cute. Threaten. Then we have four call. Talk. And then the two call is the same as our invite button here. So we won't do that. All right, let's check out some of the animations. Here is our walk. Oh, he's basically running from the get go. And then our actual run. You can't really tell the difference between the run and the walk, actually. Let's check out our flight. There we go. I love the fur on the back of the neck right there, like the feathers. Yeah, it's not fur, sorry. But yeah, it looks really good. Whoop. Oh, that did not... <laughs> I was trying to dive before. The wingspan is already pretty huge for a baby, honestly. And there we go. And we land. All right. And this is the adult model. Looking at it, it is absolutely insane. It is extremely intimidating to me just because of how big the head is here. And then I love this default skin for the female. It just looks fantastic. Very intimidating. All right. Let's go through the animations right quick. Here is our walk. It walks really fast. And then our run. Yeah, the run isn't much faster, but you can definitely see more of a difference here than you could with the baby model. All right, let's see. We have a jump, which we're going to use to take off when we fly. Then do we have a crouch? We do. And a crouch walk. That's terrifying. <laughs> I would not want this guy crouching at me like this. That's going to be terrifying to see. Let's see if we have our sit. We spread out and take a squat. Okay. And then our sleep. Oh, we actually lay all the way down. That is a super vulnerable position right there. I would not feel safe going to sleep like that. Okay. And our get up. Oh, that's pretty quick. Yeah, there you go. All right, so we have a disturbed burrow animation. We're going to check that out right quick. Yeah, he basically just scratches with the little fingers. Oh, he does a little shake too. All right, and here is our eating animation. Wow, that felt very violent. <laughs> It's just as scary as I thought a giant bird would be. Then here's our ground precise movement. You turn really fast in place. You back up pretty 
it's decent it's not amazing but it's decent and then to the left that's very intimidating and to the right i like it yeah it looks really good all right and here is our drinking animation take nice big gulps very fast actually i guess you can get a lot of water in with one scoop and then here's our swim jesus the wingspan is just enormous and it looks kind of awkward in the water yeah absolute exercise trying to swim with this guy then here's our adult flying it takes a long time to build up a running start there we go getting up nice and high you can see everything from up here it's looking pretty good this is our turnaround speed and our precise movement in air it's pretty slow we dive a little bit <laughs> it's very hard to like flatten out or even out when you dive and we can land there we go not the most graceful of birds but it still works all right we're gonna go through these skins right quick this is the female default skin right here then we have the backer skin it looks like you have no eyes with this one cape darter vulture hawk gilded moth sunburst banded arakari albino and melanistic i really like the banded one yeah that might be my go-to skin now we're gonna check out the abilities we have two head slots here so let's see what we got we have peck restore a small amount of stamina for every attack you inflict that's interesting that is really interesting i want to see how that plays out and then we have clamp bite and hold onto enemies for as long as your stamina allows can move and drag them around cannot use while in air so basically i can just run with like baby dinosaurs if i want to peck barrage a quick attack that increases in power with each hit and then we have stab deals a low amount of damage but ignores armor and weight of target then for our senses here we have we have evil eye while grounded the closest creature to you within a 60 meter radius deals 20 percent reduced damage interesting that's gonna be very useful i don't know against like pack groups but like if you're fighting a rex or something very useful then we have carnage increases attack if there is a nearby corpse flock migration decreases stamina use when flying by 10 percent for each flyer nearby in your group stacks up to four times so i'm assuming we can have about four pterosaurs in a group we're not gonna miss that then we have two slots for our front limb we've got flail causes medium damage only usable in the air i don't know what that does uh barrel roll quickly dart forward in a roll damaging things in your path only usable in the air okay and then we have wing beat causes heavy knockback all right very similar to the mod that we already have then for metabolism we just have hyper carnivore and scavenger which you know fast food and water drain and then slower food and water drain then for our hide we have tough beak take 75 percent reduced damage on the first hit you take upon entering combat that's really good i still wouldn't want to get my bones broken but you know that's still really really good and then preened feathers use 20 percent less stamina when flying then for our legs we have running start 50 percent increased maneuverability when on the ground that's a lot that'll help a lot i definitely want to see that skydiver take 40 percent reduced fall damage and then gripping claws turn 20 percent faster while on the ground all right i enjoy this don't really need it though because they're not attacks so peck clamp wing beat and flail those are all flying abilities so oh yeah i didn't even fly with the adult i knew i was missing something okay do our fly right now and now we're gonna look at the ability animations first up we have peck very quick fast thrust one more time yeah looking pretty good i like it then we have clamp that's nice but it's very slow people will get it, such a big chance to get out of range of that grab which i guess is good for the other people but not good for us next we have peck barrage 
Oh god. And that increases in power every time you do it. So it gets stronger. It's very similar to Suko's Claw Barrage. After that, we have Stab. Which isn't really like a charge bite. You don't hold it. It just does it itself. But... Yeah, it's a one big stronger hit. After that, for the wings, we have Wing Beat. Ooh, I like that. It's a real get away from me type move. Very cool. So next we have Barrel. You have to be sprint, sprint flying to use it. And it has a pretty long cooldown from what I can tell. There we go. And then our last ability is Flail. Whoa. Uh, what? I'm not sure what that's supposed to do. Flail. It's kind of like an up down jerky move. I'm not exactly sure how that helps, but it does do uh, damage. I think that's about it for our big giant flying pterosaur boy here. If you guys like these kind of videos, I have lots of other videos on Path of Titans and even other videos for other dinosaur games. Make sure to check it out. Again, thank you so much for watching and I will see you in the next video.